everyone, Amanda Saladin here from Love Life Yarn, and today we're going to be crocheting the Amethyst Sky Baby Blanket. I loved the Hydrangea Baby Blanket so much that I decided to use the Karen Cotton Cakes again and to make another blanket with a little bit different border and a little more feminine. So this one turned out really well. I love the color change. The color is called Amethyst Sky, so that's where I got the name for this blanket and really happy with how it turned out. Super easy pattern. All you need are two of these cakes, your hook, and yarn needle and scissors. Let's get started. For this project, you'll need two of the Karen Cotton Cakes in the Amethyst Sky colorway, a size K, 6.5 millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, and some scissors. Find more than 100 free patterns at lovelifeyarn.com, including more great blanket patterns. Please subscribe for more great video tutorials. Let's get started. To start, you need a chain 65. I've already done that. You see my yarn changed color in the middle of my chain. This stitch is an even number of stitches plus one. So you'll always do an odd number, just one more than you would like it to be wide. So if you'd like to make it wider, just do an odd number. And this is called the lemon peel stitch. So you're going to Skip this first chain. I like to do this crochet in the back of the, the loops here, the back of the chain. So I'll skip the first one and I'm going to work into the second one right here. Single crochet. So insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both. And that is a single crochet. And now we're going to work a double crochet in the next chain. So here's that little loop right here. And we will yarn over, insert, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two, yarn over and draw through two. So you're going to repeat that. You will single And then double, all the way to the end. And you should end with a double crochet because we have an even number. Now my first row is done and we're ready to start the second. So if I grab my yarn here, we're going to chain one. And since this last stitch was a double crochet, you see how tall it is, we're going to single crochet into it. So you'll always start each row with a single crochet. And then our next stitch was a single. Very short, we've got two little legs right here, so we're going to double into it. So we're doing the opposite. So you can see the double, get it closer here. It's nice and long. The single just has these two little legs, so you know you're going to work a single double. So if you ever put it down in the middle of a row, which I do a lot because these kind of projects are ones I take like in the car when my husband's driving or, you know, just to take wherever that I don't have to uh, think too much about it because there's no shaping or anything. You know, I can easily look to see what the stitch in the row below was. Was it long? Was it short? And what I need to work next. So you just alternate single and double crochet all the way down and you repeat this simple row, always beginning with a single and ending with a double. So you're going to work this row as a repeat. Now we're ready to work the border. So first we're going to turn so that we're working across our last row. And we're just going to work a single crochet all the way around. So work this down to the corner and I'll show you how we're going to turn our corners. Here we are at our first corner. We'll work all the corners the same way back until we reach the first starting point. So go ahead and work single crochet chain one to turn the corner 
and single crochet in the same space. So what that does is it allows it to turn the corner. So you've got a single crochet on this row and then the chain turns it and then there's a single crochet on this. And you'll turn it on the side and you'll work one single crochet to the side of each row. Even the double crochet rows because I found that when I worked two in here and then one in the single crochet, it was too many stitches. So just work one single crochet in the side of each row all the way down, turn the other two corners this way and then work up the other side. And I'll show you how to join these at our starting point. When you get down to the last stitch, you see right here where we began our last one, we're going to single crochet in the same space, chain one, and join with the slip stitch. And that will finish off the first round of our border. So now work two more rows around in single crochet, making sure that you work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet in each chain space in the corner. So when you come around here, you'll see your little chain. Make sure that you work into this space right here, chain one, I mean, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, all the way around, and then join with a slip stitch, just like the first round. Now we're going to repeat this row of single crochet, this round, so you have four rounds total of single crochet. So I have one, two, three, four. I just repeated every time I got to the corner, I worked single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So now I've joined my slip stitch my last round. And I'm ready to work this final round of the border to give us a little bit more detail here on the edges. Super easy. You're going to chain three. Skip the next single crochet and slip stitch in the next one. Chain three. Skip and slip. And we're just going to repeat that. So chain three, skip and slip. So it kind of rhymes. That's how I was thinking of it when I was doing it. Chain three, skip and slip. Work this all the way across until you get to the corner and I'll show you how to turn the corner this way. Now I've worked my way around to the corner working my chain three. And I've slip stitched right here in this corner space. You can see how it's the very edge of the corner. And right now again, I'm going to just chain three. But turning the corner, instead of skipping the next and going this way, I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch in the same stitch. Now this is only when you turn the corner. And then you'll keep going the same way. Chain three, skip the next and slip stitch. And you can see it just gives you a nice little pico here on the edge. And so you get a nice little edging. It's not too big that you're going to have any trouble with it. It's close to the body of the blanket. But it gives it just something a little more decorative. So you'll work this way all the way around. And in each corner, you'll work this little chain three and then into the same space, even up to the very last corner where we begin. So when you come back over here to this edge, this is the corner space. So you'll just chain three and work right in there and you're done. You're ready to fasten off and weave in your ends and your blanket is finished. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out our other great baby blanket tutorials. I'll link some for you up here so you can check them out. Come visit us at lovelifeyarn.com where you'll find more than 100 free patterns, including more blankets and other baby things. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.